Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make your own texture pack with a simple program called Minecraft Texture Pack Editor. It's on the Minecraft forums and that's the link, but I'm also going to have it in the description and maybe on the screen now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. And you want to scroll down and go to download link for setup XE and bracket setup XE. You want to download it, but I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to repeat it. Then you want to go to the download, or you can just open it. Press next, next I agree. Mm, make sure that it's in program files or it, it cut, like interrupt Windows files and press instant. I'm not going to. And it took me about a split second. And then you can open it. And then you can ha will have this little window here. And you can't maximize. Okay, so what you want to do is press options. And that's on Miss Calorie, I think. It should be Minecraft folder. It's usually in C, documents and settings, computer name. No, username. Um, application data, data or up data if you're on Windows 7 and then dot Minecraft with the end for slash so you can actually find the files inside it then you want to pick your image editor that's not going to be there if you start it and what you want to do is press add name edit of the editor and put Photoshop or something and then you want to press that little three dots and find the program. It's usually in my computer, local disk, or C programs files, and it's usually in one of those folders. For example, Photoshop is in Adobe. You can press Adobe A for so it goes straight to A. Press Adobe Photoshop. And then you want to um, pre click on the XC, so click Photoshop and open. I don't recommend using, um, I don't recommend using paint because glass and see-through blocks will be having white instead of see-through. And now what you want to do is go to file scroll down and press create new texture pack and you want to name it basically your texture pack name I'm going to try to make a Japanese one and I'm going to put texture pack at the end so I know it's Japanese texture pack because I might make two or three and it to E now it's going to open a window and it's going to automatically open the thing from your Minecraft folder. And that's for like all the computers. If you if you have good computers, you can pick higher resolution. The lower it is on the list, the higher it will be. So those two are, I think, HD, the one is 720 and that's, what, 1080, I think. Now you have that, you can change anything here, and how you do it is basically pick a block, and then at the end I'm going to tell you what is what, because some of them are a bit weird, like that one, it's hard to tell. Um, so I'm going to tr edit, let's see, the, hmm, I don't know, let's pick the diamond ore. So you want to click on it, 
then it should have the little box around it and you can actually see it here and you can rotate it if you want to see how it looks in 3D and the way you edit it is by right clicking and go to open in editor and pick the one you have ignore this message for now as it just means something is editing the program okay so right again oh you can do it in selection in selection it's easier because it's only one block so you can't go over the edge and you can't edit the um, block nearby I'm going to bring it to the middle make it bigger and zoom in that is the zoom in button oops zoom out zoom out okay then you can just edit it however you want I'm going to paint and brush I mean five and let's Take that color. Okay, paint the brush. It's a very bad one. I'm going to try to improve it later. And if you make a good texture pack, you can give it to me. Send it to my email, which is Minecraft at God's Rampage dot com it's right here on the screen and then what you want to do is save it let's pretend it's nice drawing the longer you spend on it it's going to be nicer then you want to add it image as you can see it's very random you can see that on the 3d view how it looks it looks like how it looks on the top you can also change how it breaks it doesn't really show up here but basically it goes like that then that then okay that is I don't know that's glass that's that could be glass when it's like attached to something then what you want to do is save image then you can go to terrain here and change what you want to edit and I'm going to edit the the, the GUI and I'm going to edit the crafting table now you can do whatever you want you can also even copy from um, from different programs I mean texture packs so if you have like painterly, you can like copy the flower if you want, but sometimes it's better to ask for the permission if you can use it in your own texture pack. Yeah, as before, make it bigger, zoom in a few times. And it doesn't work on Mac, it's only for Windows XP, Vista and 7, I think. That's, at least that's what it said on the thing. Now also change how... Uh, where's the rest of the mobs? It's weird because sometimes not every of them comes here. Ouch. because they have a hitbox here when I'm like going around the big image 
if you want to make change it don't make like big like here otherwise it will be a hitbox right here so it might be a bit annoying it also can change some of the stuff that's empty that's known some of them are like oh those that's cauldron I think it says empty because I didn't update one bit one I just edited the video and I've seen it that you have three minutes more so I'm going to show you how to um, get the rest of the mobs do you want to go to percent of data percent dot minecraft bin right click on minecraft jar and open with winra or 7 zip then you want to go to mob no we can basically drag copy that folder by control c to here for now so i'm going to cut it oops control x and go to my texture pack and you can basically write control B here as you can see now in mobs there is more and now I'm going to see if I can find how you edit it so you can make um, a few I couldn't find anything interesting but one thing I found is this you can also change like your hunger meter and stuff fire in particles and you can also change GUI which is basically the thing um, the inventory the buttons the egg thing no, the language. And I think that is, I'm not sure about that, but here is like a little plus which is the navigator thing in the middle of your screen. And that's train. No. There isn't really anything else can, which can change. So I hope you found out how to make your texture pack and I'm going to see some of them on my website. Bye.